Hey, this is John with Spooled Biker. We're going to demonstrate how to install the HBC 200 Bluetooth helmet headset from Uclear into a Scorpion XO500. The first thing you want to do is install the clamp onto the shell on the left side of your helmet. Now, the um, clamp is essentially just a spring loaded base, and they give you these uh, wire levers for installing it into the helmet. So after you install that onto the base, it makes it easier to pry open. But here's a tip. It's difficult to get the back one off after it's on, installed on the shell. So you may want to simply forego using the wires. But we're going to show you how to do it if you want to use the wires they supplied for leverage. First, pull away the padding of the hel helmet to get to the shell. You want to be able to have just the shell and maybe the lower rubber trim. Um, inside of the clamp. Next, slide the clamp onto the shell and the exterior one comes off very nice and easily. However, uh, we recommend using some pliers, needle nose pliers, to get the interior one off. So, now you can simply slide the Uclear module onto the clamp and start with the speakers. Now with other headsets we would uh, test the helmet on make sure that the boom microphone reaches the, the lips or install the microphone. But with the Uclear the microphone is built into the speakers so um, there is no worry about that. You can put the module further forward or further back, whatever is easier and more ergonomic for you to reach the buttons. Next we'll install the speakers. Now with the Scorpion there is an ear pocket area in here that also has a flap that covers the shell. We're going to put the speaker right behind that flap and we'll use some velcro. They include velcro pads to um, hold it in place. Now because the microphones are on the speaker and they use triangulation to um, detect the voice. The speakers both need to be in the same position front to back and preferably up and down as well. So um, first start by pulling the padding off. There's a couple of snaps for the back padding and um, you can feed both speakers through the left side and then a wire from the left, the left speaker over to the right speaker. After you get the speaker approximately in position, you're going to have to decide how to run the wires. So um, you either have to go around your pad or take a notch um, with scissors of this plastic. Most of the helmets, you can notch that out and then run the wire in between there. If you try to squish it in like this, you're going to damage the wire. So um, in this case we decided to go around it and we'll just tuck that in. After we get it snapped. Something like that. Pairing the device is quick and easy. Uh, turn it on by holding the main button for two seconds and then to pair, put in pairing mode just hold the up and down buttons together about one second and it goes into pairing mode. Select the Uclear on your device and it's connected. Now the first time we did this there was a slight hiccup in the music that continued um, every few seconds, but cycling the power on the Uclear and then putting it back on solved that issue. Once the music is playing, you can control the music device from the Uclear headset. I've got the volume turned down, but it is it is playing right now. And to skip the next track, you would hit the up button twice, and it will change the track on the device. You can also um, double click or hit twice the main button and it will pause the music.
as you can see on the device is paused again two more times and it would change back to play. We hope this first look at the HPC 200 has been helpful. We are going to be doing a lot more testing and making more videos showing uh, what we find, doing real audio recordings while in use on the motorcycle. So please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, check out spooledbiker.com where you can find all the gadgets to make you a spooled biker.